And welcome back, everyone, to some more Resident Evil 6. It's just precaution. <laughs> Things could go to shit at any moment. Yep, and they're about to. What went down and why yet? It's like perfect timing for him to say that. Stopping the sea virus, it's Jake Hunnigan. Could you check and see if the BSAA has any units near the oil field? That was like a huge Resident Evil 3 reference in a way. Like that, that whole thing just has the same visuals of what Resident Evil 3, the original, had. But yes, there it is. End of the chapter. I knew it was close. I knew the end of the chapter was close. But I wasn't sure how close. I, I, I ended the uh, last episode a little early wanted to end it here with the chapter end, but I couldn't remember when that was. I knew it was like right there. But we got the S tier, so that was good. Only had that one death from uh, screwing up the thing with Simmons. But that was about it. But I, I just love that whole cinematic moment from Helena seeing the missile to everything that goes down after that. It's just such a good little moment. And now we're about to get to the emotional part of Leon thinking Ada's dead and all that good stuff here. So let's get it started. Got it. 
On my way. Good. Thanks. Leon, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Ada Wong is dead. Copy. Sherry and Jake need you. Don't let him down. Are you okay? Let's just find the survivors and get the hell out of here. Echo to HQ, can you read me? HQ to Echo, report. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing over there? We need to evacuate, come on! We detected traces of the sea virus in the gas. Looks like the same gas that hit Tall Oak. We're moving in to search for surviving evacuees. Wait. We want to help. All right. Come on. This way. This the anything useful. That's about it. It's kind of weird that Sherry the gave gas. them the information on worry, Jake, but didn't really explain who Jake is. Because that's sort of the more important thing. It's like, okay, they Over have here. the file on Jake, but but you have Jake. They're like, what good is Leon and Helena okay? having the file on What's him if like they don't have him? I wonder well, how I things would have turned out and I don't think that's the if habit. Leon and was informed as to who exactly Jake was. I'm completely loaded up on everything. I mean, if he knew who they were, there's a possibility that he would have had them stay with them throughout. That, that's a possibility. All right, the problem is, is that nobody would learn about Hayos. Come on. And C virus would run rapid. Because there's no way they would develop a vaccine. Ride? Even if they were to get Jake it's just a Go. Uh, to the lab to create a anti virus and everything and do all that. There's no way that they could create a vaccine in time. Go. Hurry. Zombies. The Resident Evil Vendetta scene before the Resident Evil Vendetta scene. Just instead of Chris and Leon, it's Chris, Helena, and a whole bunch of BSAA guys. Okay. Don't look back! Just go! Gotta love the teleporting zombies. Like All a right. completely clear Hang room on. and then zombies everywhere. I gotta say, the smoke fog of the sea virus is one of the coolest aesthetics for a virus. We've had it where it's like, oh, you have to be injected with it or bitten or you know, something like that, but the smoky fog, 
Just a cool little thing. Because, I mean, if a missile like that fires off into a city, you're pretty much screwed. There's no way that you're going to survive that unless you're on the outskirts like Leon and Helena were. Whereas, like, traditional T-Virus and stuff like that from Raccoon City, as long as you didn't drink the water that did get into the water supply or get bitten, this is as far as I can get you. You're good. The tower is right up ahead. You two keep going. I'm gonna head right. back and try to find what's left of my team. Thank you. Be careful, all right? Not sure if we'll get to it this episode. It might be next episode. We'll Echo get team, to, uh, come in. Is anyone there? The dino fight. I could kill those guys and just have fun with that. I think you could just camp it. Or not camp it. Farm the whole thing. They never go away. I think they just keep responding from the fog. just a few more seconds before we climbed over the fence. She was dead. This is probably one of the bigger critiques that I could have with this is that we don't have enough time with uh, the passing of Ada with, with Leon. Like, there's not enough time to really be like, oh wow, Ada's dead. Leon thinks she's dead. Like, there's not enough time with that. It's just immediately, oh, Ada's dead, and then two, three minutes later, oh no, she's actually, she's cool. Leon, five Leon, minutes you later, you, you right? see that she's back. I'll live, but I've got a feeling things are about to get worse. It would have been cool if they would have kind of let that soak in for a while. Don't have Ada show up until we get to the Simmons T-Rex fight. That's when you show uh, Ada. That would have been so much better. I mean, it's not like it's that much further out. But it still, it would have extended that for a little bit longer. Then you could have had her show up on the helicopter about halfway through the T-Rex fight. completely different this is for the prelude or whatever it was where Helena's like so weak that she can't even do anything I am just stacked on supplies right now opposite of how it would be in Chris's campaign you use so much ammo in Chris's campaign even with counters
goods. Hard. Not seeing the option to counter. I always hate this moment here for the BSAA guy. Hennigan, can we make it to the tower this way? Yes, just keep moving in that direction. Right, this BSAA guy just jumps down for no reason and gets killed because of it. Like, dude! Where is it? I didn't know what I was looking at this time. I'm not going to disturb the zombie on the taxi. He's just enjoying a meal. Be rude to shoot him. Policy towards zombies. If you don't mess with me, I won't mess with you. slow paced it was in chapter one. Going to the campus and everything. Now every two seconds something explodes. <clears throat> Don't worry, we'll never forget you, Mr. BSAA guy. Yeah. Oh, there we have it. Probably about to wrap up this episode, folks. We are 
at 20 minutes now, so I think that will be a good stopping point for this. And uh, next episode, we will embark on the T-Rex fight with Simmons, because uh, obviously what comes up next... Got it. Let me go in here real quick and just see if that activates a save or something doesn't does. feel right. Nope, oh, okay. So yeah, I'll uh start next episode right here and we shall take on Simmons and his T Rex form. See you all in the next one. See you then.